Hello, Irene Smith here again, and this one is a short video, just a quick tour and sale of the Connoisseur's House, and I've changed quite a bit about it. When this, this is one of the smaller properties, and when I purchased it, for one thing, I've redone the outside with this uh, tile. I uh, kind of like it. It's different from what I normally use. And when I first bought the property, there were two rooms on this side, uh, one of which had been a kitchen and was, oh, horrible, and another room that was a living room. Then on this side, there were two bedrooms, and I've combined them into one bedroom and one large open plan room on this side. And then in the middle was a bathroom, which I have redone. Uh, there was, I think there was a shower here, but it definitely wasn't this nice. There was um, a sink. So we've got a sink and a mirror. We've got a washer and dryer, which I normally totally forget to put in my houses. And, of course, a toilet. Uh, I rather like the yellow for a change. This is supposed to be pale yellow tile on the floor as well. To me, it just looks a little bit off-white, but that's okay. This is the hallway. Um... This is from the workshop, this collection of pictures and a little bench to sit on. A uh, place to put your shoes, I guess. Uh, an umbrella stand. And in here is the bedroom. Now, as I said, I combined the two bedrooms into one. But I left one end off, uh, marked one end off as a sauna. So this is a single bedroom house with a sauna. Strange. Um, no, actually the, what is it, the Smoth family, I believe. Anyway, so this is the sauna. The bed is from the workshop. Most of the rest of the things in this room are from the game itself, but the uh, painting over the bed is also from the workshop, I believe. Plenty of plants, books, a couple little sculptures. And then across the hall from the bedroom is the, as I said, open plan. We've got a kitchen, refrigerator here, cabinets, a sink and stove, a uh, colander. I assume that they like pasta. And over here, a little thing with snacks. It's funny, in a way, this would be more appropriate, I suppose, in a house with a large family, but it's there. And then on the table, there are some snacks also. We've got a fireplace. We've got a nice little stand here behind the couch. This, again, is my friend Irene's photograph, which I really, really like. And a couch and a coffee table. So let's go out the back door. Now, I remembered for once to put lights on the back as well as in the front. And the garden focuses on paths, stone paths. Uh, interesting little places to do things. Now, this is actually a building. I put it up as a separate little building. You can see we're inside, not outside. Um, so I built it and I used the modular doorways to remove most of the walls. I think it looks kind of neat. Um, then on this side, we've got another little place to sit, 
plants and decorative rocks. Lots of plants, as you can see. A fountain with some benches around it. Lots more plants. A little pond here. Another little secretive place to sit. A now, I left the original trees that were on the property, and these are two of them. Uh, we have a koi pond over here, lots and lots of roses, vines is on the side of the house, and this interesting tree that's got leaves spread all over the place came from the workshop. I surrounded it with uh, meadow sweets and a place to sit and another little koi pond. Lots of bushes, lots of... And I tried to concentrate on picking not only a variety of plants, but a variety of colors. The bushes, instead of all having them all be just green, some of these were here already. Um, I picked, for example, these two yellow ones. These... These rust-colored ones just to keep it interesting. And here's a little hidden away nook where people can sit and have tea. Some more plants, some more roses, a fountain. I love these little plants. I've never used those before. Some more roses, a sort of a weeping willows, um, more plant, more bushes that are also multicolored. So we're into fall. This seems appropriate. More flowers, more plant, more roses, another fountain. In fact, there's three fountains along here. There's a, another little place to sit in privacy back here. All in all, I think this is a really nice place. And the view out that window, which I really didn't emphasize when we in the, when we were inside is quite lovely. So now that we've seen everything, I think it is time to sell the property and see what we can get for it. Are you ready? Submit it for the English garden. I actually find the English garden the easiest to do. And we got 50%, which doesn't surprise me. I really worked on this one. So now let's put it on auction, see what we can get. The house costs 61000 I spent $5,000 on furniture and almost $17,000 buying furniture. Um, the Smoth family, which I noticed before we came in here. Um, I actually got $46,000 from the garden competition. The house sold for, they're offering $92,000. And let's see if we can get them up to ninety five dollars at least. And if we can't, we can't. Set my proposal. So we've made almost $70,000 on one of the, in profit, on a house that cost us originally about $80,000. So that's not too shabby. I will take it. And you can see how horrible and messy it was to begin with before we made our changes. I think it looks pretty nice. So that's it for this one. 
I will see you again soon. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share with your friends, comment, and uh, come back to see me again.